Hi folks, I'm back again with another thin film uh, experiment and this time I want to answer uh, the question of is it better to have the titanium dioxide directly on the metal or is it better to have the titanium dioxide in your separator. So what I've done is I took a piece of borax uh, paper and I uh, I put um, titanium dioxide and white glue mix uh, on either side of it. So now instead of painting it on the metal, I've got it on the the, uh, the paper with the borax and the, and the white glue. So we're going to see how this performs. So all, this one, all we need is our graphite, which we'll paint on our by the way, it's cleaned up afterwards. After the last experiment, I cleaned both of the plates up, even the graphite one. I had to soak it in water. Alright, there's our graph oil with graphite on it and water. There's our new separator paper. Borax, borax separator, titanium dioxide, and and, uh, and I think we're going to need a little bit of water. So put three or four drops there. Moisten that down good. Alrighty. There we are. Let's go for it and see what we got. And our volts are one fourteen five and look there's the four three got a little drop again two all right now let's see what our amps are and we have. 52. See how the self charge is going. And well, it's up to 98. Real fast. Make that 99. I'll be back as soon as it's peaked and we'll see where we're at. Well, I'm back. That didn't take long because it just stopped right at. We're at one nine 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 eight. Nine nine eight and our amps are seventy nine. So maybe not so bad. Ooh. Forgot to write down the other one. Nine nine eight and seventy nine. The first one was one fourteen five and 40, 48. All right, back again. And this is recharging real fast. This is like just a few minutes. And we're at this time we're at 93.937. All right, 0.937. And let's see what our amps are. 45. 45 first and jumped up to 85. So we're still increasing in uh, 0.937 volts. I'll show you real quick how fast this charges back up. That. As far as the charge time goes, putting it on the uh, in the paper seems to uh, speed it up quite a bit. All right, I'm back, and this time we got to nine 
0.951 and now it's started to pick up its second wind 0.952 9.53. So we're gonna we're gonna test it right there. 0.953. All right. Let's hope for the best. 92. Still increasing. All right. 0.953. Ninety-two milliamps. All right, this may be better than I thought it was going to be. All right, back again. This time we've voltage has climbed again. We are now at ninety point nine six two, and it's still climbing, although it's pretty slow. There's point nine six three right there. Let's test it right there. 0.963 Alrighty, here we go 92, right? Same milliamps Point 0.963 Alright, so far, so good Let's run it again I'll be back all right, we're back for the sixth discharge, self-charge discharge, and we have <coughs> 0 0.972, and again we've increased our voltage, 0 0.972. All right, let's see what this one is. Is it going to go on up again? 0.972 and. 89 so not quite as high but still in the ballpark 0.972 all right I bet this is already up to 80 or something looks almost shorted it out Seventy, climbing awful fast. Look at that. This is definitely a lot faster uh, charge times. So we're talking like uh, five minutes or so versus fifteen minutes or more. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're back with number seven to discharge. And we are at 0.966, and that's a little lower this time. And if you can see, it's pretty much stopped right there. So that's what we're going to discharge at. Oh, there's 0.967. So 967. Are we peaked at 92 or not? Here we go. 81. So we did peak at 92, apparently. So we're at 81, and this was 967 volts. All right. I'll be back. Well, it looks like moving the titanium dioxide onto the paper works pretty good and uh, probably uh, slows down the oxidation on the uh, on the metal so uh, that looks like we'll just do that and uh, I'll play around with it and see if I can get it uh, get the battery a little uh, more powerful and uh, looks like alkalinity tests are coming up next thanks for watching